we continue our look at the St. Louis wrestling territory. I think we uh, came up to the, uh, it was called the St. Louis Wrestling Club. Uh, great cards. And uh, last time we uh, looked at January of 1970. And Rodney, one thing we did find out, they, they do run uh, St. Louis, Missouri, it looks like every other week. So they don't run it on, on a weekly basis. Uh, but we'll pick up on Friday, February 6th, 1970. Uh, Rodney, take it away. All right, with this Kill Auditorium of St. Louis, attendance 6,679. Two out of three fall match, Frank Hester and Ronnie Etchison defeat Joe Tommaso and Ricky Ronaldo. It's Roger Kirby defeating Luis Martinez. It's Will, uh, Wilbur Snyder defeating Ernie Bemis. In a five-man battle royal, Bob Geigel defeated Angelo Poffo, Dewey Robinson, Moose Chalock, and Tommy Martin. The Crimson Knight versus Pat O'Connor in a time limit draw, 30-minute time limit draw. Two out of three fall match, Black Jack Lanza defeats Jack Briscoe by referee stoppage, two falls to one. So evidently, uh, Black Jack Lanza must have done some... Uh, well, no, I guess Jack Briscoe's the one that got disqualified. Well, this is referee stoppage, though, didn't it? Lots, really of say, times that's, lots of times that's blood in some cases. This, this is true. Then they return on Friday, February the 20th, the St. Louis, and uh, two out of three falls match. Lars Anderson on this card, uh, teaming with Angelo Poffo. Defeated Thor Hagen and Tommy Martin, uh, two out of three uh, by two falls to one. The Crimson, the Crimson, yeah, Crimson. The, Crimson Knight yes, the Crimson Knight character. Yeah. Uh, defeated Guy Mitchell. Jack Briscoe defeated Roger Kirby. 14 minutes, 16 seconds. Pat O'Connor defeated Dick Murdoch. 10 minutes, 46 seconds. Black Jack Lanza and Bob Geigel went against Ernie Ladd and Dick the Bruiser. Ended without a winner as a no contest. And a two out of three falls match. NWA World Heavyweight Championship match. Dory Funk Jr. defeated Baron Von Raschke. By two falls to one. Look at that. The world heavyweight champion, Rodney, defeated That's someone right. two falls to one. That's right. They put the champion over. I like it. Friday, March the 6th, 1970. We're back at the kill in St. Louis. It's Tommy Martin defeated Ricky Ronaldo. Roger Kirby defeated Jack Pesek. Uh, it's Baron Von Raschke defeating um, Joe Blanchard. Jack Briscoe, Pat O'Connor, and Dewey Robertson. Uh, Robertson defeating Black Jack Lenza. Bobby Heenan and Lars Anderson. The Crimson Knight defeated uh, versus uh, Dick the Bruiser. Uh, of course, that was a no contest in that one. Ernie Ladd defeats Bob Geigel in the main event. I believe Jack Pizak, I guess that's how you said that. He was a world heavyweight champion, wasn't he? I believe that's right. Uh, I, I know that uh, Luthez had just great stuff to say about him and, 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 and loved him to death. So uh, that. Look at the people they have working for them at this point in time. We're going to go back to St. Louis, Missouri, Friday, March 12th, 1970. 9,206 people uh, attended this event. The first match, two out of three falls match. Betty Nicoli and Jessica Rogers defeated Linda Klein and Barbara Galanto. Want any, 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 uh, any kind of Mario Galanto? She was uh, the she was the cousin of the sister of Mario Clinto. I got you. Well, uh, they, well, they 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 actually owe uh, Betty Nicoli and Jessica Ro uh, Rogers actually defeated them two falls to one. So they, evidently they wasn't great uh, tag team as they <laughs> lost both falls. Didn't even win a fall. Ronnie Edgerson. You know you hear a lot about Ronnie Edgerson, especially in the St. Louis area. He must have been really, really, really good. Yeah. But I don't think he ever left this area, did he? Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I, this is the first I've heard of him. I could, could be. You know, I've heard, I've heard of him before, but he defeated Angelo Poffo by disqualification in six minutes, 43 seconds. Roger Kirby versus Tommy Martin ended without a winner as a time limit draw, 20 minutes, two out of three falls match. Ernie Ladd and Dewey Robertson defeated Moose Cholak, Cholak and Lars Anderson by two falls to one. Dick the Bruiser defeated Buddy Smith, four minutes, 59 seconds. Uh, the Crimson Knight defeated Bob Wyndham, which later would become Black Jack Mulligan, 11 minutes, seven seconds. 
two-on-one handicap match. Jack Briscoe and Wilbur Snyder defeated Black Jack Lanza. Pat O'Connor defeated Baron Von Raschke. 18 minutes, 29 seconds. All right, it's beginning to build as we head to Friday, April 3rd. Kill Auditorium, St. Louis. Uh, uh, the attendance for that one, 11,581. Two out of three fall match. Lewis Martinez and Rod Etchison defeats Kenji Kamara and Killer Carl Cox. 15 minutes. Uh, two falls to know. Nothing in that one. Two straight falls. Angelo Poffo versus Dewey Robinson in a time limit draw. Baron Von Raschke defeated Tommy Martin. 13 minutes, 43 seconds. Moose Chulak defeated Jim Valen in 9 minutes, 59 seconds. Wilbur Snyder, Jack Briscoe, and Ernie Ladd defeats Black Jack Lenza. The Crimson Knight and Lars Anderson in 7 minutes, 59 seconds. And in the main event, two out of three fall match for the World Heavyweight Championship, it's Dory Funk Jr. defeating Pat O'Connor. One hour. But he won by one fall to zero. And apparently a time on the draw, I would assume, in the, in the rest of it. And it must have been. I bet that was a tremendous match. I bet it was, too. Absolutely. Oh. I mean, you got true, got the former world champion in it. And as you can see, 11,581 for just coming to see Pat O'Connor try to regain the world championship from Dory Fun Jr. Moose Cholak, did you ever see him wrestle? I have seen him on the um, the 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 show out of Indianapolis. <laughs> big old guy, big guy. The people loved, uh, hated him up there for sure. Uh, but but very popular, very popular all throughout the Indianapolis St. Uh, St. Louis area. I don't know that I've ever saw him, but he I, I I had heard of his name on Friday, April seventeenth. They would return to St. Louis, ten thousand six hundred and eighteen people to see Tommy Martin defeat. Bobby Heenan by disqualification. Lars Anderson. You know, I think that's one thing we have not talked about. Uh, Bobby Heenan was uh, managing Blackjack Lanza at this point in time. So, and I, and I think we've been uh, forgetting to uh, say uh, that he was the manager. Uh, Lars Anderson defeated Bobby Brunzel, or it might be in Br Brunel, four minutes, 52 seconds. Jack Briscoe defeated K.O. Cox now. I'm not for sure. Maybe that's not Killer Carl Cox. Maybe that's someone else. That's Five minutes, 35 seconds. Baron Von Mraska versus Wilbur Schneider ended without a winner. And the time limit draw, 15 minutes. Blackjack Lanza defeated Bob Wyndham. So right there, as we see, uh, Bob Wyndham going against Blackjack Lanza, he would be later become Blackjack Mulligan. Nine minutes, 10 seconds. Ernie Ladd versus Killer Kowalski ended without a winner as the time limit draw. Dick the Bruiser defeated Billy Howard. Three minutes, 31 seconds. Hey, you ever noticed Dick the Bruiser's matches didn't go very long, did they? No. no. And they came back with a 12-man battle royal. Will, Will, uh, Wilbur, Wilbur Snyder won that match. And then the main event, Gene Kaniski, former world heavyweight champion, NWA world champion, defeated Pat O'Connor by countout in nine minutes, 10 seconds. You know, you can see... When you look at these cards, you can see why they did so well. Because the talent was really good. When you look at Barry Von Raschke during this time, probably in his prime in the 1970s, the early 1970s, wouldn't you think? Oh, absolutely. And, and you noticed, okay, let's go from the beginning, okay. Uh, all the cards, basically, that had uh, Pat O'Connor, basically, on the main events did very well. You ever see, you, did you notice that? 9,206, yes. Pat O'Connor against Baron Von Raschke. You had the kill, 11,581, Dory Funk Jr. and Pat O'Connor main event. Uh, apparently, Pat O'Connor was over. <laughs> I would love to see videos from this, and uh, but uh, tremendous, tremendous. We will, we will pick up, and we will continue our look at the Kansas City territory as we uh, move on, move on. Uh, this, I guess this is the St. Louis territory, but they use the same talent. I think it was mostly some of the same talent. Some, some of them were completely different, but uh, tremendous wrestling, uh, tremendous cards, and uh, we'll be telling you about the uh, winners and losers and the cards as we continue our look at uh, St. Louis. Uh, championship wrestling there in St. Louis. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next video right here on Pro Wrestling Inside Now.